From New York, where the American stage begins, NBC presents New Theater. New Theater, a series of our length plays dramatized from some of the most significant writings of our time and presided over by one of the great personalities of the American stage, the distinguished actress, director, and producer, Eva Legallion. <laughs> Miss Legallion. Once again, good evening, and good afternoon to our friends on the West Coast. This time we bring you a dramatic version of one of the great folk novels of American literature, The Time of Man, by Elizabeth Maddox Roberts. It's a story about the hill farmers of Kentucky, and it's a story about love, young love, reticent and tremulous, filled with the lyric simplicity and artless strength of the hill folk themselves. Folk stories and folk songs seem to belong together, so some of our story will be told in song. We bring you now The Time of Man, with the fine young stage and motion picture, picture actress Joan Loring in the role of Ellen Chesser. In the moonlight, the road was a silver ribbon winding back into the Kentucky hills. The driver of the wagon, a man named Henry Chesser, picked his guitar lazily, giving the horse free rein as if he didn't know his destination or knowing was in no hurry to reach it. Beside him sat his wife, Nellie, and his daughter, Ellen. Where are we going, Mammy? I don't know. Somewhere. Where, Pappy? Oh, some better country. Our own place, maybe. Our trees in the orchard. Our own land, sometimes. Mm. Our place to keep. We ought to be a settling down. I'd like to see me in a house of our own. When the rain's beating down on that slate roof. My, what a pretty sound it'd make. I look for rain before this night's finished. We ought to be a settling down and have a house our own. I want a house to live in all my enduring life. A place that folks will point to and say, that's Ellen Chester's house. <laughs> I'll have a parlor room to sit back in. Cool and fine. <sighs> my house. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. What dog take it? Yeah, I knowed that wheel was weak. Reckon it can be fixed, Pat? Ain't no telling. Well, we rest a spell. Night will stay here. What's to be done, we'll do tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we ought to look for a house. We'll do what's to be done tomorrow. <laughs> Hmm? Wake mm. up. Somebody's a-coming. Oh. You woke me just to tell me that? Pappy, look at there. A man on a brown horse. Oh. Morning to you. Howdy. I reckon you all to be strangers. Uh, we on our way traveling. Looking for a place to settle down if I find a place to pleasure me, my old woman. Oh, I look for rain today, so tomorrow will be a season for tobacco planting. I've been wanting to hire a man. Three dollars a day you can have. Take it or leave it. We've been, uh, wanting to settle. If that there gal's any good at working, she can have 25 cents an hour. And the woman, too. Oh, I don't allow to work, my old woman, but, um, that there Ellen, she can do a sight of work in a day. Now, there's a house on the place nobody's using. Good tight house. You can have that there. Leaks a little, hardly to speak of. I think on it. Yeah, Three dollars a day for you, 25 cents an hour for the gal. Yeah, I think on it. It's at the next road, Tenant. Get up. That sounds like right good money to let pass by. I will at least go look. Looking can't hurt nothing. Yeah. 
Got here just in time. Oh. Rain's already commencing to fall. Why, it ain't what I thought it would be. Yeah, it's got a roof on it and four walls. But it don't need much more. It's a poor trash house. Well, it ain't a house at all, just a room. I ain't gonna stay here. Everybody's got a right to something better for living in. I could fix the roof when the rain holds up. Oh, I want a room of my own. We can't stay here. You think you're the boss of this here place? The boss of your mammy and pappy? I'll skin you alive if I hear every word more out of you, Ellen. You come help me tote the stuff from the wagon. We've only got the day for moving in. Tomorrow, back a plan to start. <laughs> There, gal. What's your name? Ellen, sir. Ellen Chester. And this here's Jonas Prater. How do? How do? Ellen, you take this basket of backup plants. Walk between the rows and drop them plants ahead of your pap and this here boy. He'll come along the hydrogen and plant them under dirt. Yes, sir. I done it before. Now, keep it a going, then. All right, Chester. Come over here. I'll show you how I want my plants covered. <laughs> Ellen Chester. What do you want, Jonas Prater? If you didn't stay so far in front of me, we could do some talking. I ain't getting 25 cents an hour for talking. Well, all the same, we're out of sight of others, and there's a thing to be said. What's to be said? How'd you like to have a date? I... Why, I don't know. I never had a date. A date to go to a play party? Oh, I've never been to play party, neither. Not my whole enduring life have I ever been to a play party. Well, then we'll go tonight, you and oh. me. Well, um, who's giving it? Doreen Wheatley. She live up the road a piece. Oh, I ain't got nothing to wear. This dress is all in... Oh, these shoes is all muddied from the back of planting. Well, you wear your pretty face, Ellen Chester. It's unknowing how pretty you are. Oh, you got no right to be saying that. I'll be at your place to sundown. I'll ask Pat. Johnson boys was raised in the ashes, didn't know how to court a maid. Run away and hide their faces. Sight of a pretty girl makes them afraid. Sight of a pretty girl makes them afraid. Ellen. Ellen Chess. Here I am, Jonas. We'll have to walk to the party. I couldn't get Pat's buggy. My feet won't touch the ground, no how. I feel like walking on air. Oh, parties is fun. I've been to lots of them. Oh, what'll it be like? Dancing. Kissing, maybe. Mm. Then some to eat. Oh, Ellen. Ellen, look up there. Right mm. over there. Well, they're wide apart tonight, them stars. Oh. Only the bright ones showing. I heard it said one time that all stars has names. Oh, one of them is called the, the Milky Way, I hear say. Wonder how deep the sky is. Where it's got an end. What the end's like. Look, you, you can see Doreen's house from here. My, it's big. <gasps> Doreen is lucky for living in a house with more than one room. <laughs> I wonder if she got a room for her own. Jonas, all of a sudden I'm afeard. Oh, ain't nothing to fright you. My dress, it's old. And my shoes, just look at my shoes. Oh, gee, gosh, don't you worry. But I... They'll be a looking at your face, not at your shoes and dress. Well, I... oh. well my it. goodness sakes, y'all come right on in. Uh, Doreen, this here's Ellen Chester that just moved into Hippo Ginn's place. Well, thank you for letting me come. Listen here now. I want everybody to know Ellen Chester that just moved in the country. How do? How pleased to know you. Uh, Y'all come right on in the game. We were playing Lady Fair. Uh, who's in the middle? You are, Doreen. Oh, uh, well, because Ellen Chester's new, she can be Lady Fair. Oh, well, um, I, I don't know how to play. Well, goodness <laughs> sakes, there's no time right now to learn. You just get in the middle of this circle. Well, all right, if you say so. <laughs> all right, everybody. In the strings, a lady fair, dark brown eyes, curly hair, rosy red cheeks and dimple chin, take some fun and choose him in. Now, Ellen, that means you.
you choose the boy that pleases you the most? Well, what for? My goodness sake, choose, honey. Well, uh, well, I'd choose the Jonas Prather. Fine, come on, give me a minute now. All right, come on, come on. Uh, now you married him for life. Goodness me, what a pretty little wife. Pretty little wife and husband, too. Kiss him twice and once more. Oh, well, uh, come on. I, well, I didn't... I didn't know it was for kissing. Oh, but no, I'm not No, I, no I, I won't do it. Well, all right, then. You'll have to pay the consequence. Well, uh, how's that? Uh, well, what can you do? Can you dance or sing a song? Well, uh, I reckon I'll try singing a song. All right. Uh, hush now, everybody, hush. Ellen Chester's a-going to sing a song. Come up here, one of you bars, and help her along. Sure. Uh, Red Rosy Bush? <clears throat> Wish I was a red rosy bush on the banks of the sea. Every time my true lover passed, he'd pick a rose off me. Wish I had a golden box to put my true love in. I'd take him out and I'd kiss him twice. Then I'd put him back. I thank you. Thank you one and no. all. Well, uh, all right, everybody. If you're ready, there'll be some dance. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. You happy, Ellen Chesson? My, it's unknowing how happy I am, Jonas Prather. <laughs> boys went a court in the Coon Creek, girl so pretty and sweet. Couldn't make no conversation. They didn't know where to put their feet. They didn't know where. Doreen sure doesn't give a good party. Oh, it's unknowing how much fun I had. I'm a plum fool for dancing. <laughs> you know, there's some say dancing's almost as bad as card playing. Don't seem sinful to me somehow. Well, you're a pretty sight to see dancing, Helen Chesson. Oh. Uh, Doreen is lucky for living in a house with more than one room. Helen Chesson. What, Jonas Prather? I... I like you, Helen Chesson. I like you, Jonas Brethren. Why wouldn't you kiss me tonight? In front of all them folks, uh, looking and laughing. Huh? There's near a person looking and laughing now. <sighs> Helen, I've been a wanting to do that since I first laid eyes on you. I've been a wanting you too, Jonas. It's unknowing how lovely you are. I'll give to you a paper of pins Cause that's the way my love begins If you will marry me, me, me If you will marry me Happy! Happy! Hey, <coughs> I was uh, thinking maybe you wasn't going to work with me today. Hope it don't fetch I'm late. Slept over on account of being up so late for the party. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a notice that little shirt-tailed boy kept you out mighty late last night. Well? Reckon he's uh, figuring to marry up with you. Oh. Uh, well, he didn't declare that to be his intention, Jonas, didn't Um, heard you whistling are coming up. New plowed piece of land is a fine place for whistling. Hmm. Look right rocky for garden. No plow iron ever cut this year hill afore. Not in the whole time of man. What's the meaning of that? Time of man? Oh, never studied on it. Thing I heard my pap say. Time of man. Must mean all the time spent on this earth. By the living and, and by them that's dead, huh? 
What's the words of feeling I get sometimes in graveyards? When somebody's a birth and a youngin'. Yeah. Well, you study about it all you like, but let's get to it, huh? Uh-huh. Best you and me get ready for bed. Ellen's got that feller coming to set up with her the night. Mm. Truth to tell, I ain't much of a mind to go to bed right now. Oh, I reckon that's him now. <clears throat> Come on in the house. Well, I, I'd just as leave set outside, yeah. Come on inside. How are you, Mr. Chesson? Tolerable, son. Uh, Jonas, I'd like to make you acquainted with my mammy. I do. Oh, please make your acquaintance. Won't you set for a spell? Well, uh, thank you, ma'am. Well, I reckon I'll say good night. I'm just going to bed over there in the corner, my husband and me. Gee, gosh, Ellen. Your pap's got a hold of that guitar, isn't he? You'll never get him to bed no ways at all now. I, um, recall your name is, uh, Prather? That's right, sir. Prather. Jonas Prather. Henry, mm. Ellen is a-courting that there boy. They don't want to hear your blabber. I, um, ever tell you about my, uh, crazy Uncle Billy Rudd? Uh, no, sir, he ain't never. But don't let him get started on that. You'll never get shed at him. Well, Uncle Billy Rudd, he up and he went insane one day. Yep. And he started carrying all the pots and the pans out of the house while his old woman was a-cooking dinner. Now, uh, in another time, he carried the cook stove out in the yard. The fire still in it, and the, the hole in during time. Poor old Aunt Pleas had a sight of trouble out in her husband. Oh, the day them was wedded, the preacher was half through the marrying when the floor fell through. The whole wedding party with it. Well, that must stop the wedding, I reckon. Yeah. No. No siree, Bob. They hauled the bride and the groom out and taken them out under a tree in the yard and they finished the marrying there. Yeah, folks said that uh, that was a bad sign. I, uh, I reckon it was, seeing as how Uncle Billy went insane in the mind. Oh, man, why don't you go off to bed? How's Ellen ever going to court that there boy with you blabbering? Well, I enjoyed hearing you talk, Jonas Prater. <clears throat> now, I say good night. Good night to you, sir. Good night. Ellen, don't you all sit up too late and burn up all the firewood. All right, Pappy. Just put one more stick on. <sighs> fire in the fireplace is a fair thing to look on. In the firelight, it's, it's unknown how lovely you are. Ellen, I want to stay close by you, and it ain't no trouble to you. You could stay, if you were mine to. It was on my mind all through back of planting to, well, to, to want to ask you to marry me. I, I'd have to study it over, Jonas. Whatever you'd say, I'd do, no matter what it is. I, I can't see anything to do now. Maybe when I study it over a spell. But could I be beside you for a little spell tomorrow and, and in the day after? At sundown, you could come again to stay. You're a fair thing to look at, Ellen Chesson. I ain't fitting to set at your feet. The stick has burned itself out, Jonas. Sudden like I feel a chill. You want I should go, maybe, Ellen? For now, yes, Jonas. I'll come again tomorrow night to set. It's sundown. I'll come again. Henry! Hey! Oh, glory be what a man I married. 
He should be in the cornfield, and there he is, out under the maple, a-picking of that guitar. Ellen, Ellen. Yes, Mammy? Stop dreaming and string them snap beans. I never saw such a dreamer as you turned out. Is it on account of that Jonas that comes every night? Jonas is what I always wanted. Uh, they'll talk a lot when they're sweetheart and men will. Take Henry here. Henry was a real master hand of sweethearting. A regular banty rooster. Sweetheartinest man I ever see. Man as hard people know. Well, the man that's got it in the head to own property is a kind of kid. But Jonas is different from all the others. I've been a studying on that there, Jonas. He don't look like the kind to wear for a long time. Don't you place too much trust in that one. I know Jonas well enough. There's none like him. Not nowhere is there one like Jonas. Ah, vum! I never see so many rocks as there be in this land. Oh. Pap, where you reckon rocks come from? Hmm? Huh? Where well, rocks grow, I reckon. Wish I could see a rock grow. Can't put my mind on it somehow. You could watch a rock for a whole year and you'd never see it a-growing. Well, maybe they don't grow if you watch. Like fish don't bite if you make a noise. Hmm. Maybe they take soil like everything else, huh? It's a strange wonder, no how. Like ants now. And like where wind comes from or... Well, like warts that go away and you never know when. Rocks are growing. Well, I do now wonder. That's the way of rocks. They grow. Rocks are growing. I fancy that now. I wonder, is there a time of rocks and a time of earth like there is a time of man? <laughs> oh, Pappy. Pap, there's strange and wonderful things on this earth. Did you ever in your time see a fountain going? Have you ever been to Boston Town or to Mexico City or to the Tropic of Cancer? Pap, the men really get sponges out of the sea. Do you know, Pap? Oh, Pap, did you ever go washing in the ocean? Ah, Vom gal, whatever come over you all of a sudden? Well, I was a-thinking, this is my time on Earth. And there's all them things to see. I wonder will I ever see them. Unknowing the things in this world. Just unknowing. Ellen. Ellen, is that you? Jonas? Oh, evening, Ellen Chesser. We better be going in. Prayer meetings are starting. No, 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 no. Don't let's go in. I, well, I want to tell you what happened in town today. Well, can't it wait till after prayer meeting? I'm fed to busting with New Zealand. A man from Cornishfield wants me to put in his crops. It's on a farm way over Yandro Hill, now about 20 mile or more. Jonas. He come up to me on the street, it did, and says, You want a good job? Good pay, says. You're going to take it, Jonas? Well, I... I... Listen to that night bird. Crying its heart out. Wonder if its mates are flying to a far country. Ellen, I, I, I'd as soon give up life itself as you, even for a little while. But, but there's a chance for me there to, well, to make a name, to to be somebody. Jonas, take me. I'm afeard for you to go so far, peace. Hang me for a fool if ever I forget the face or feel of you, Ellen Chesser. I'll, I'll come back one of these days. Will you, Jonas? That I will, Ellen. And don't you forget it now. I'll come back. I will come back, Ellen Chesson. Will you, Jonas? He's gone away For to stay a little while But he's coming back if he goes ten thousand miles Oh, who will tie her shoe And who will go her hand And who will kiss her ruby lips When he is gone Look away Look away over Yan. 
Ellen, what would you say if I was to tell you I got here a letter mailed from Cornishville? Oh, ma'am. Here. And it's time he was writing you after all these weeks. Oh. Do he say when he's uh, coming home to marry with you? No, Mammy. And what do he say? Dear friend Ellen, I come up here and am working for old Mr. B. Cornish. He got his arm ripped open in a sawmill. Last week I plowed for corn, and this week I am planting. Mr. Cornish is a fine man, and the pay is good. Goodbye, Ellen. Signed, Jonas T. Prather. And not a word about it coming back? Jonas will come back. He will. I know he will. You might just well forget about him, Ellen. He ain't coming back. No man would stay away this long if he intended seriousness. You hash now. Probably was you that chased him off in the first place. He'd come to sit up with Ellen, and then you'd do all the talking. Yes, sir. We seen the last of Jonas Prater. Four months and no word, but one little old lady. Don't talk about it. Ellen, Ellen, where are you going? Ellen, come back here. Good evening, young miss. You look like someone that's come a long way. Would, would this be the road to Mr. B. Cornish's place? What you want at Cornish's place? I want to see someone I know there. If it's bad luck at love that you're worry, I can mix a charm to bring your man your way right off. A dollar is what the price is. Don't want no love potion. I'll let you have it for 50 cents. I ain't got no 50 cents. Is it that man you aim to see at Cornish's place? That Jonas Prather, they call him? Is he there now? Do you know him? You sure you won't take a love powder from me for a quarter? I got no quarters. Jonas Prather up there now? He left two weeks ago. He's gone what? up north to live and taken Sally Brown with him. That's Sally Brown? That's the name of the gal he married. They went off a fur piece to live up north. What? You want to buy a love charm? I got love charms all prices. I don't want no love charm. But you come here taking my time for it. You ain't gonna buy a love charm. He's gone away. For stay. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> You are listening to The Time of Man by Elizabeth Maddox Roberts. Now here again, Miss Eva Legallion. I had a letter from one of our listeners telling me how happy she was that we were presenting The Time of Man on our program. She says, That book has been one of my treasures for the past 15 or 20 years. To me it is a great book, and I keep it along with five others, my six precious books. I hope she's enjoying our performance of it today. It does seem to me to represent the best in American folk literature, and while it reflects accurately the romanticism of a specific region, it is still universal in its appeal. When it was first published, it met with a fine critical reception in England as well as in America, and has since been translated into half a dozen European languages. You'll hear Act Two of The Time of Man in just a moment. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. We resume with Act Two of The Time of Man, with Joan Loring as Ellen Chesser. A year later, the Chessers moved to a new county, 
and in the new house Ellen had a room of her own. But she took no joy in it. Sometimes she would lock the door and gaze into her mirror, which would tell her of changes that time had brought her. I have been in, time, in life a long time now. Night comes, and then it gets to be day. And that is the way of time. My name is Ellen Chesser, and I am a growing old. Never have I seen a fountain a going, or learned the name of a star, or go a washing in the ocean. Never have I had a person to know all my enduring life. I am Ellen Chesser. I am a growing old. Ellen? Ellen? Yes, Pappy? Come with child. Need you to help me. I'm coming. This here cross-cut saw is a feisty thing to pull by myself. Want to throw in and help me? Sure, Pap. All right. Just grab a hold there. <laughs> Pap, that's a mighty big log for such a mite of a sawhorse, ain't it? Fair-sized log, but it'll hold. All right. Let's get to. <laughs> What's stopping for? Oh, I vow, Pap, that sawhorse is sure wobbly. I don't think ghosts to hold that big log. I hold. Get to. Oh. A doctor. Oh, look at that leg. The bone sticking up through the flesh. Living bone breaking through living flesh. Oh, run, Ellen. Someone at the door. Hmm. Who is it? My name is Odie. Odie, that's what they call me. Please to come in. Store, they said there was sickness. I come see. It was right neighborly of you. Won't you say? The bone of coming out through the flesh at the store, they said. Living bone through living flesh. A sight to see. I was hoping I could see. Never seen such as that. Well, the bone don't show no more. The doctor, he put it back where it belonged. Oh, I, I was hoping to see such a thing. But I'll give you these two eggs anyway. Ordinarily, I'd trade them at the store for chewing gum. But seeing as Ewan's is in a fix, I, I'd like you to have them. Why, now, that's a mighty nice thing for you to think of. Good evening, miss. Uh, how do? Word come that you got sickness here. That's right. You come in? I want to do whatever I can. My name is Jasper Kent, and I'm good at plowing. This here's my mammy. Howdy, ma'am. Thank you for coming over. Hey there, Jasper Kent. How are you, Odie? Uh, can't complain, Jasper. Can't complain. If there's aught you need, ma'am, I'd be glad to get it for you. We're fair fixed for time, thank you. Did your man have all his plowing done? There's more to be done, but Ellen here says she'd do it. Hmm. Well, I reckon I'd better get back to the place. But if there's ever a man you need, I'd be proud if you'll let me know. And I hope your man gets along well. I'm over to the next farm, Albert Wingate's place it is. Good night. Well, thank you for coming. Good night to you all. Good night. Good night. Look like a neighborly fella. Oh, they don't come no finer than Jasper Kent. Fine-looking man. All the girls is after him, but he don't pay him no heed. Just stays over there working all the time for that no-good Albert Wingate. But someday, he... Jasper, he'll, he'll have a place of his own. He appeared to be that kind of man. One that's got it in the head to own his own place. Usually end up getting what he wants. <laughs> Yes. 
Joseph. Oh, goodness, Ellen, look out down in the cornfield. Mm. A man a plowing. Looks like that one that was here last night. Jasper Kane. Well, now did you ever? You run out there and take him some nice cold water from the spring. Ma. It's the least you could do. And ask him to come to dinner, too. Dinner. Dinner. Whoop. Boy. Boys. Go now. Well, now, uh, good morning, miss. Thought you might have a thirst for, for some cool spring water. And I do so have. I always favored spring water. I want you to know you ain't obliged to do our plowing. Oh, I'll, I'll do it in between my own. Never miss the time. No need for you to leave your own place. Well, now, it ain't exactly my own place. I, I farm Albert Wingate's place across the hill there on half and half shares. It's a pretty farm. I'd like to show it to you sometime. Farms is all the same to me. Gotta go now. Mammy says you come to dinner. Well, now, that's mighty nice of you. And thank you for the water, too, Miss Allen. No need putting Miss in front of my name. Everybody just calls me Ellen. Then I'll call you that, too. Ellen. Ellen. Ellen? That sounds like Odie. Uh Uh-huh. Go see what he want, Ellen. Hello, Odie. Come in, set a while. I stopped by to ask if you'd like to go the way with me to the store. I'm going after my chewing gum. Oh. The old red hen laid early. Well, I reckon I'd like to. Haven't been down the store in a long spell. Mammy, I'm going with Odie to trade his eggs. Well, bring me back a pound of sugar from the store. All right. I'm glad you come along with me like this. <sighs> when I get my gum, I'll give you a stick if you like it. Now, gum is not a very nourishing food. You should eat the eggs. I'm a plum fool for gum. <laughs> uh, when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry. Odie. Times, don't kill me, Odie, that man. Look. Albert Wingate. That's Albert Wingate, the one Jasper worked for. Let's just walk past him quick. Don't speak to him to look now. Howdy. Who's that pretty one with you, Odie? Don't answer him, Odie. Odie. What do you want with me, Albert Wingate? What's the name of that gal with you? Odie. I ain't going to tell you. I'm going to give you none of this chewing gum i got in my pocket if you don't tell me. Come on, Odie. We best be a-going. It's a flavor I know you like, Odie. Odie. What flavor is it? The kind you always get at the store. Tell me that gal's name. I'll give it to you. It won't hurt anything for him to know your name, Alan. No. Uh, Ellen's her name, Ellen Chester. Now, now give me the gun. Hold out your hand. Uh, 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 uh. I mean the hand to hold the eggs. All right. Here. You, <laughs> you broke my eggs. You broke my eggs, Albert Wingate. You had no right to do that to Odie. Ellen, uh, your name is, huh? Well, I like your looks, girl. Why ain't I seen you for? Come here, let me look at you close. Be, be careful of him, Ellen. I will thank you to let us go by. I've got a feeling to kiss you, Ellen. Get out of my way. Run, Odie, run! I'll kiss you yet, Gad. I promise you that. <laughs> Look at that Jasper Kent now, building a new hen house for us like it was for his own. I vow, Ellen, if I was a girl your age, I'd just sit my hat for that dear man. Men is false critters. I got no patience with the whole load of them. I'd be proud to help you with the milking, Ellen. I reckon I can take care of it. It's a pretty sight to see, Ellen. You were milking with your little hands so white and fine. You are a bright and shiny woman, Ellen. It's all I can do to keep my eyes off you. It's unknowing how lovely you are in the chest. Oh, Jonas. I mean, I... <laughs> Ellen, come back. Come back. Well, now, I... Huh. Women is a queer race. I'm bummed. 
Ellen, there's a farm for sale a piece down the road, which I aim to look over today. I was thinking to ask you to ride there with me and see it. I'm needed at home. This is Sunday. There's no work to be done on a Sunday. <clears throat> well, after I get back, I will come and sit with you for a while this evening. Oh, uh, I was thinking about going to bed early. Corn need hoeing tomorrow. Should get rest for it. I will come for only a short time. If you say you will come, then I cannot stop you. But I will not see you. Careless love, love, oh, love, oh, careless love, love, oh, love, oh, careless love, see what careless love has done. Can I come inside for a little while? Reckon Pap would like somebody to talk to. I didn't come to see your Pap. Pap wouldn't mind company. Ellen, why are you always running away from me? I do not run away from you. Yes, you do. You're afraid to be alone with just me. You always want somebody else around. I'm not afraid of you. Show me you don't fear me. No man can hurt me. We'll walk a bit. The, the night is bright, but the moon. We will not walk far. Only so far as you say, Ellen. I've not been walking at night since... Since a long time. Are you cold, Ellen? You're trembling. I I'll put my coat about your shoulders. No. Here, I, I will wrap my coat around your shoulders like so. Take your arms from around me, Jasper. Ellen, I want to say no, it. No, Jasper, don't. I will say it, and you will listen. Oh. Today, I... I saw a farm I want. And all the time I looked it over, I said, it would be an empty place without Ellen on it. <laughs> oh, you are a bright and shining woman. I am old and ugly. You are bright and shiny as a dogwood tree in spring. And if, if I could kiss you once, I'd chance all the rest of life. You're worth all the women in the world. And there's a very honey of life in your heart. <laughs> I want no other woman in all this world save you. I will not be hurt by another man. Let me go home. If any man ever tried hurting you, I'd show him the way to my fist. I want you for all of my enduring life to come in. i got to go home, Jasper. Don't be afraid, Ellen. My arms are around you to keep you safe, not to hurt. I will kiss your lips. No, Jasper, no. Oh, Jasper. Oh, Jasper. Your mouth is sweet to taste, and your hand against my skin is sweet. I can hear your heart beat inside your shoulder, and I can feel it beating your throat. Hold me close, Jasper. The moon makes your eyes big and deep. Your arms are strong about me, Jasper. I want never to leave that. Your skin is soft under my coat and warm. Never leave me, Jasper. In all enduring time, never leave me. Your legs are healing nice. Aim to walk on it in a day or two. You stay in bed till that leg heals proper, old man. You get it going around here, hippity hoppity, you're liable to break it again. Uh, where's Ellen tonight? Out there on the porch with Jasper. I notice here lately she's warmed up to that boy. She ain't said a word to me, but I know. Them two is sweethearts. I can see him through the window hugging me. It's the first time I hear her sing that song since Jonas run off and left. Um. Song that's laid away to sweeten for a while is a right proper kind of song to have. And uh, put me in mind to do some loving myself. Come here and kiss me, old woman. 
I'd as soon kiss that jackass in the barn as you, old man. I wouldn't say that if I didn't have a broke leg, old woman. You used to be a hand at sweetheart, old man, but not anymore. Yeah, bum, I bet if I tried, I could walk over there to you, old woman. Henry Chester, now you behave yourself. Yeah, I'll show you a... I ain't forgotten how to, sweetheart. Hen, you'll, you'll break that leg all over again. Old woman, you are going to get kissed. Henry Chet. Will I vow? Will I do vow and declare? <laughs> Look at there, Jasper. I tell you, breaking there across the hills. And night is short. Listen to that dove call. <laughs> Make a lonesome sound. Like the end of the world. You fear to the end of the world, Jasper? <laughs> I feel like I could pick up a hill or I, <laughs> I could break open a mountain with my fist. <laughs> and what right have I got to be afraid of a lonesome sound at night? Lonesome doves are calling in trees to each other. Dove has got one drop of human blood in its body, they say. By another spring, I'll, I'll find us a pretty farm where the fields lay out fair and smooth. Smooth pastures are pretty sight. With hills rolling up and down. And cows dotted here and yon over it. The house will be the way you want it. I'll have a parlor room to sit back in when the busy season's over. All these things I will do for you, Ellie, because I love you. When I stand in the door of the house, I will see the fields roll off, some of them plowed and some of them tipped with blue mist, birds in the trees, and me waiting in the door for you to come home. I'm glad to be waiting, for I love you, Jasper. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to ask you if you've got a place for the safekeeping of things. Why are you asking? Well, i got a little money I wish you'd lay by for me. Oh. <laughs> How'd you know I won't run off and buy me a blue dress with it? You can do so if you wish, for <laughs> I aim to buy you a house with that sum of money someday. And, Ellen, I, I don't trust that man I work for. Got a bad name, I hear. Albert Wingate steals from his own mother that lives there on the place. Steal for drink, he does. I'll keep your money safe. <sighs> I'll go now, Jasper. My Miss Cannon Peaches, I should be scolding jars. Ellen, how'd you like to go to town tonight? There's a carnival there. A carnival? Oh, Jasper, uh, I've never uh, seen uh, a carnival in all my life. Then tonight we'll go. We'll oh. get an early start, so you meet me at Albert Wingate's barn. Mm -hmm. We'll go in his buggy. he give me the right sometime. Then I'll meet you tonight at Albert Wingate's barn. Ellen, are you ready for the carnival? I can hardly wait, Jack. I'll run in the barn and get the buggy hitched. I'll wait right here. Don't make no noise. Go away from me, Albert Wingate. I aim to collect that kiss, I promise you. Jasper's in the barn. I'll call him. You ain't calling nobody. You come with me. Keep away from me. Keep back. Oh, pretty thing to look on. I'm going to kiss you. No. I heard somebody. Jasper. Hey. Albert Wingate, you stinking little damn drunk. Now get off my place, Jasper Kent. You're nothing but a hard hand. What you mean hitching up my bug in the first place? All right. Jasper! Now get up and fight, Albert Wingate. I ain't a finish with you. Jasper, you knocked the lantern over. It's gonna catch the hay on fire. Well, you did it a purpose. You're setting my barn on fire. Get water, Ellen. There, from the horse trough. All right. I'll see can I stamp it out meanwhile. You're letting my barn burn, Jasper. Well, you you ain't helping none to put it out. No, I ain't. I'm gonna let it burn. And that was, I'm gonna put the law on you. Then let it burn, you dang fool, and get your law tomorrow. Right now, I aim to finish that trash and I owe you. Oh, God. Beat 
him off so bad, Jasper. Just let any man offer you insult. Just name his name to me. But, and I'll give the skunk same as I give Albert. You reckon he really will get the law on you? And I, I reckon he will. Jasper, how could you ever explain how come it was you set fire to the barn? I never see the day I'd be afraid of trash like Albert, but he, he'll sneak in behind of the law. Ellen, I, I better go away for a while. I couldn't see you go. Law is a fine thing if you get on the good side of it, but once you get on the contrary side, why, I, I better go away. You want me to come with you, Jasper? No, no, I, I better go alone. I, I, I'll find some place and I, I'll come back. You know I'll come back, Ellen. I know. After it's blowed over, I'll come back. I will wait, Jasper. I will wait. I reckon it's a heap of worry to you Jasper don't come back, ain't it, Alan? It is no worry to me. Albert Wingate up to the store, he talk about Jasper burning the barn. He say if Jasper ever come back in the country, he gonna ride him out on a raid. Jasper never burned that barn a purpose, Odie. And if anybody ever say so, you tell him I was there. And I know. At the store, Albert been telling around he beat Jasper up something terrible that night. Albert's a lion. Albert say he'll send Jasper to jail to Frankfurt, maybe, or, or Louisville. Albert talk a lot, but he ain't worth shucks when it comes to doing things. Make right smart time, but Jasper been gone, ain't it? There's six months now. If I was you, I, I'd start looking around for another fella. But you are not me, Odie. This country has not seen its last of Jasper Kent. Ellen, Ellen, they done got him. Hold it. They caught him. They caught Jasper Kent. They asked him what he was doing back in the country. He said he'd come back to see you. He'd come to see... Hody, where is he? Where is Jasper? How about Wingate and half a dozen men have got him? They're oh, taking no. him over to where he burned the barn. Hody. They're going to teach him a lesson, they say. Ed. I'll go. Come with me, Hody. Help me hitch the horses. I, I'll go no further than here to the gate. I, I'm afeard. I need no help. I'll go alone. Uh, Give it to him again. Weapon's too good for a barn burner. Y'all lean on him good. Leave him alone! Whip me if you dare. Take your whips off him, you dirty, low-down skunks! Now go away, gal. Justice is being undone. You dirty trash, all of you! Thinking you can hide your faces with them rags tied over them. It's me, Jasper. I'll untie your hands. And they won't stop me. Now you go away from me, Gad. You've got no right to stop justice. Justice? Lay your whip on me if you dare, Albert Wingate. I can call your names, everyone. I know you underneath them hoods. All right, everybody. All right, that's enough. I reckon that'll do Jasper Kent for now. He won't burn no more barns around here. All right, I'll Ever. That's right. Run away. Run away home. Cowards you ought to do together what you wouldn't dare do alone. Ellen. It's all right. They're going now. I, I could not hold myself away from you no longer. Hush. I, I could not. Hush, Jasper. Here. I'll untie your hands. Do it give you pain, Jasper? Only inside do it really pain. Knowing that all the people in this county... Turned against me. It's a thing to study over. Get up on your wagon, Jasper. I will drive. That moon.
moonrise, I'll go. I'll go a fur piece from this place. But I'll come back someday, and when I come, I'll come to fight with the law on my side. Uh, maybe a weapon. That is not the way, Jasper. We will go together and never come to this place again. You'd come with me tonight at the rise of the moon. Whatever this country feel to you, Jasper, I'd feel the same to me. And if you need to go for sunup, why, then I need to go for sunup, too. We'll go alone. Need no other. Ellen. I used to think when I was a little girl that maybe I'd see some rare fountain a-going or sometime learn the name of the stars. I thought they would bring me my time on earth. But now I know better. I know how the world is. A little. have heard The Time of Man by Elizabeth Maddox Roberts.